Have you ever cooked pork belly like a brisket? Because I can tell you, it's just as good. All right, the first thing that we want to do to prep our pork belly, I literally cut it out of the pack and cut it in half. That is it. Now, I can honestly say I'm going to leave this little bit of fat on top here. Of course, I'm leaving the fat on the bottom. That's good fat. I'm not trimming anything off of these pork bellies. No, nothing whatsoever. Now, I am going to take and turn these over. All right. And I'm going to use a mustard binder on these things. So let's get some French's mustard here. Get a little bit down. Just rub that in just enough. I'm sure the rub would have stuck to it fine. You can use whatever you like. It's completely up to you. Now these pork bellies, I'm smoking them like a brisket. I'm gonna cook them on my stick burner today. And then I'm gonna turn around and wrap them up, uncover them, sauce them, glaze them, let them cool, and then slice them. Now, I'm gonna go with a little bit of my beef rub. It's got a good salt and pepper pot with a little bit of color to it. And so it's almost like an AP, but just a little more pepper note. You can see all those pepper flakes in it. All right, now let's get a little bit of this savory note from this competition rub. And I can tell you the flavor combination of this rub is incredible, but if you've got another favorite rub, be sure to use it. Now I'm gonna flip that over and repeat it. Now. Our two pieces of pork belly are ready to go on the pit. Let's get them back in the pan and get them around here and get them put on. All right, you can see that our Outlaw BFO grill here is fired up. It's running at 300 degrees. I'm gonna go ahead and get this pork belly on here. A lot of people ask me, why are you cooking 300, Heath? Well, because I can. I like 300. This pit likes 300. It's completely up to you. If you wanna go 275, you just gotta adjust your time a little bit longer. Not a big deal. So let's get in here get these two four, four pound pork bellies on and I'm gonna let them go about an hour and we're gonna check them. All right, our pork belly has been on about an hour and 15 minutes. I'm gonna get in here and look at it. See our grill's been running at about 275. Oh yeah, look at that. That nice peppery rub there. I'm gonna go ahead and spray a little bit of water on this right here too. Yeah, let's keep that pork belly moist. Look at that. All right, our pork belly has been cooking about two hours and 15 minutes. Let's get in here and check our internal temp and see where we're at and see if it's almost ready to be wrapped. I'm gonna stick my thermopin in here. I'm running about 143 in that, that belly and about 149 in that one. Or well, about 146. So I'm gonna let these go to about 160, 165 before we wrap them. All right, our pork belly has been on a total cook time of three hours. Let's get in here and see what it looks like. Now look at that, we're hitting that 163 in that belly and we're hitting 166 in that belly. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull these off and let's get them wrapped up. All right, our pork belly has been on about three hours, like I said, it's hitting 165 degrees. I'm gonna go ahead and get it slid off on some foil here. Now I've took the liberty of, and I've doubled up this foil. So I'm gonna get this wrapped up, get it back on the pit, and it's gonna probably have to cook for at least another two hours if I had to guess, to get it all the way to that 203 to 205 tenderness. All right, let's get this pork belly back on in the same position. Now, get that set on there, get it put back on, shut this door, and I'm gonna, gonna set an alarm for one hour and I'm gonna check it and that'll gauge where I need to finish it off at. All right, our pork belly has been cooking for five hours total right now. I'm gonna get in here and check it. And I can tell you, I'm pretty sure we're gonna be hitting where we need to be. We're hitting that 200, 203, 204. Oh yeah, like butter. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take this sheet pan and get these things off where they can rest. All right, just to start off a little bit and recap about our pork belly here. We had a little over eight pound pork belly we cut in half. We didn't trim anything off of it. We just put some mustard on it for a binder and then come back with our beef rub and then come back with competition rub on top of that. Try to keep a good savory pepper note to this one because we cooked it on our Outlaw BFO. Now that's a stick burner. We use Royal Oak supersized charcoal briquettes and we follow that up by hickory wood. And I can tell you it's got a great, incredible smell to this coming off the cutting board right here. So I want to go ahead and I want to kind of slice into it 
and just see what we got. Now remember, we cooked this pork belly five hours and then wrapped it up and look at that. It's amazing. Pork belly smoked like a brisket. Let's go in here and slice a little slice off. Look at that pork belly there. Oh man. That is hot. But Now I can tell you this is my first time actually smoking a pork belly like a brisket. So I'm just as excited as you are to try this. We'll go ahead and take a little dap off of that. Why have I not done this before? Why? The endless possibilities that you can do with this. Oh my God, it's so good. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna slice a few more pieces of this. It probably needs to cool a little bit longer, guys, but I'm here to tell you, when you take that piece of pork belly and look at the moisture on that. It's got a nice little smoke ring right there. I can tell you, that is incredible. Mm-mm-mm. If you like what we're doing on the channel, be sure to like, subscribe, follow along with your friends. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Pinterest, and of course, YouTube. And I'll see you next week with another clapper.